Right, Martin, thanks for joining us. Um, it's been a, a, a busy few weeks for you, hasn't it, confirming the retain list and starting to prepare for next season? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's a period of the year where people think that you'd sit, sit doing nothing, and uh, it's probably one of my busiest time, actually. Yeah, so the retain list obviously went out, uh, and then it's about then people replying to their to, the, to their offers. I mean, so far we've had uh, Royal Satorio has come to sign a two-year contract today. Uh, Sam Sargent has agreed a, a two-year contract, and, and Miles Judd and, and Josh Cromer uh, both had a clause in their contract to, to make to tell them they've got another year, uh, and, and we're still talking to them them two in terms of if it's going to be any longer or not. And how important was it to tie those young players down to sort of to continue to grow that young core of players at the club? Yeah, I mean it's important. I mean, you now when we come in last summer, there was no doubt about it. There was too many uh, uh, of the younger players, and too many too many of the younger players that that probably thought they were a little bit better than they were because they'd played uh, first team football the year before. So we had to make sure that when, when we when we sat down this summer that we kept the people around us that we feel could take us, uh, take us forward. And, you know, as I was saying earlier, you're still going to have a nucleus of about 25% uh, of your squad are going to come through our academy uh, and are going to be with us next year. And that's about, that's a, that's a really good amount. You know, the fact that we had so many last year, it seems to think that we, we're not interested in, in young players. Nothing can be further from the truth. That's still very much on, on the radar for us as, uh, me as director of football and Justin as, as, as the first team coach. And then it's almost a, a credit to the youth system that Leighton Orient have that um, so many of the young players that were involved last mm. season moved on and there, there are suitable replacements coming up and coming through and making an impact on the first team. Yeah, that's, a, that's, you know, that's how it's got to be. You know, It's got to be a part of uh, a continuous circle of, of players that when, when that you're always popping it, popping it up from the bottom with young players coming through. And we've been able to do that. As I say, we've still got uh, a good nucleus of young players here. And, it, and it's important that, that people understand that uh, it's, a, it's, a, a, it's a successful transition from, from young player into first team. You will get the opportunity at Leighton Orient, and, and that's always been the case and always will be the case. And the retain list uh, confirmed free transfer listed players, uh, Jake Caprice, Christian Scales and Romy Bocco. Um, is there any news on them? At this moment in time there isn't, no, the, the three of them have been placed on the, on, on the transfer list. They've all got a contract for, for next season. Uh, we're in constant uh, conflab with their representation uh, and, and, and the players themselves. So at this moment in time, them three uh, are still with us uh, and, and remain so until uh, another club comes and takes the services uh, and we will adjust our squad when that happens because obviously you need uh, spaces to open up for people to come in. And one man who definitely won't be at the club next season is uh, Loney Eva Adams. A deal couldn't be completed there. No, it's disappointing. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, we we didn't we tried everything in our power to keep him here. And the good thing about uh, the message back from me, but it was nothing to do with finances. Uh, he wouldn't tell us which club he's going to. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm making a pretty good guess it's going to be the league club. And I think that's one of the things that we have to have to face sometimes. You know, we are in the national league. Uh, we are. A very big club in the National League but the be on and end all for a young player it's outside the league or inside the league so the good thing about it is that we know that we was we was proactive enough to know that the finances wasn't the issue it was, it was to do about the level of football that Ibu was going to go to as I say I don't know where he's going but uh, it was a it was a, a good conversation uh, even though a sad conversation for our point of view because because I think he done really well for the football club so this summer um has now given you an opportunity to, to have a full summer, a full pre-season um, and a, a full season of uh, scouting to go into place uh, ahead of next season. Uh, so there must be a lot of targets that you have um, have ready to take that place, that, that sort of void that uh, has been created. Yeah, I mean, we feel that we need uh, at least two uh, players, one being central midfielder, obviously now Ibu's not uh, took up our option. 
Uh, we feel we need another forward uh, to come into the mix of, of the forwards that we've got here. Uh, and and the, yeah, the good thing about it is that a proper process is is being going through. You know, we have earmarked. Uh, Midfield players, and we've earmarked forwards. You know, as you say, we didn't start working on our midfield list until Eba Adams has said no. We're very confident that we have got really, really good players on that list, and 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 there will be one of them coming into the building, uh, and a centre forward coming into the building as also. And also, we're going to have the, the 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 proper way of doing it, as you said. There, we've got you know we've got scouting reports on these players this year. Uh, we've got time. To, to fetch them in, and it, it, it's normally a process. I always say you probably have ten names on each list. The top two or three you tend not to get, if I'm honest, because they're probably out of your price range, or someone wants them more than you do. You don't end up with your bottom three, so it ends up somewhere in the middle. So there's, there's, we have got about ten names on our list, and we, and we work through them uh, until we get the right products to, that we feel that. I feel there's a very good nucleus of a squad still at the football club. I feel also that from the signings, you know, in and around the Christmas area and, and, and after that, were players that are of the age group that were a little bit younger. Yeah, you know, your you, you James Brophy, your Sam Lings. You know, what I mean, it, it's about fetching a couple of more players in that can can improve us, take us forward. And, and, and as I say, we feel like we've got a really, really good squad to work with. You know, people like Charlie Lee. Who's been missing last all the last season feels like a new signing as well. So we're confident that we're, we'll have the right mix to, to have a real good go of, of of getting out of this league next season. And it, it seems there seems to be an effort, particularly to put towards the second half of the season, to uh, lower the size of the squad. Um, is the squad a, a size that you and uh, the head coach Justin Edinburgh are happy with? Yeah, we we. We, the, the squad was massively too big at the start of last year. You know, some of that was done by the younger players not earning so much money. So obviously, you can have a bigger squad. There was too many young players within that squad, and, and yeah, we want to work off around 22, 23, 24 around that mark. And also, because we, because we've both got good contacts uh, in the in in other clubs, it allows us to use that loan market the best we can. And uh, we feel that if we have Around, around 22, 23 or 24 players, then, then we will use the loan market and, and then with the loan market it becomes a position specific player and the fact that our loan market stays open all year we do feel that's some sort of advantage to us uh, because then we can then, if any problem is created, we can then solve that problem. And uh, just finally, I guess um, in previous years the this, this fans have become used to a, a sort of overhaul of the squad on a sort of on a regular basis. This summer is probably the first time in a few years where that hasn't happened. And going into pre season and start next season, do you think that's gonna hold us in good stead? Yeah, I think it's uh, I mean the change obviously that went on there last year was was, you know, a one off. But for me, uh, if you can if you can just uh, change a few people each summer uh, you, know, you know, that that few could be a, a small few or a big few, you know what I mean? But we do feel that there's a continuity in there. I, we do feel that we've got the, the, the makings of a, of a side that can push for promotion. And if we if we honest, since Justin's been in, I've said it enough times now, his, his record was that we was uh, promotion contenders if, if you done it over the period that he was in. So, he, we don't think there's an awful lot wrong within the dressing room in terms of quality of player, but we do. But we know we've sort of earmarked. We need a, a, a couple to, to to finish that off. Uh, and and if we play as well as we did as, since Justin's been in the building, it's proven that we will be in and around that top seven next year.